Hey, Max here. So, we got a little bit of a mystery on our hands that uh, I want to talk through today and what it means for the game, because in 23, I'm looking for, you know, some changes. You know, mix it up a little bit. In 22, we barely got anything. We got halftime adjustments, which were taken out partway through the year because they were broken. And those are coming back for 23. Cross our fingers, they're not broken again. We are all we also got stats. Those things were taken out of the game for a little bit, like not counting, and then they brought it back in and they still weren't consistent. So hopefully those things work in 23 now. Um, so we really haven't had anything done to the game in a while. We've had basically winch, rinse, wash, repeat. I can speak um, over and over. So they're revealing some cards this week, and I'm not going to do a video on everything, one of the, every one of these. Um, they're going to do it every day at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. I think they're doing a stream too. I might be gone for that, so... Good luck. Just, you know, watch their stuff if, if I can't cover it. But I do want to talk about what they have revealed. And, and they're going to talk about, you know, still headliners, team captains, team builders to be revealed. So we're going to get, you know, core elites on day one. And generally what they've done the core elites over the last couple of years have made them pathetic, right? Uh, we've seen like back in Madden 20, I was looking at these core elites too to kind of compare to what we got right here. We had Todd Gurley, remember him? Um, he was great for a little bit. Speed 83. Julie 86, 81 speed, Zeke, Bell, 80 speed, CMC, can't see it, but it's 82 speed, 83 from Alvin Gordon, um, so low 80 speed, okay, and that's kind of what our core elites have been, and they, they generally kind of wash out the core elites pretty early in the game, they're not that relevant, okay, um, so they're going to reveal the core elites this week, and just know they'll be relevant for like a day or two, maybe, yeah, some of the upper end ones could be relevant for a little bit longer than that, but headliners could easily be better than all of them team builders like team builders are great coming back because they've always been decent for making coins throughout the year team captains so that's probably like four cards again we'll see uh but it really depends on you know how they kind of stat things so i heard a lot of people saying oh they're, they're slowing down the stats stats are about as bad as core elites have always been here are the top 10 themselves i guess i should in shrinking the picture so you can see them all at once there we got derrick henry cmc i don't know why it says august 1 in the corner the date they revealed it or whatever maybe they're just kind of reminding themselves kamara like the names are fine whatever it's okay the stats on each individual one i'm not gonna go through each one as that's kind of like boring the, the thing that like the biggest thing that's telling to me is they've kind of squished them all together right like i feel like for years i've been asking them to stretch it out a little bit you know get a little flexible go full gymnast on our butt uh, and they just can't, they keep pushing them all together with, within a couple points of each other. Derek Henry, this big bruising son of a gun, 84 speed, 83, 80 agility. Then we got, uh, Jonathan Taylor. Like, I think he ran like a 4.3 or something, 85 speed, uh, 84 acceleration, 83 agility. Nick Chubb within two speed of him. So, like, they're all within, like, a couple speed of each other. Like, well, how are they supposed to differentiate each other outside of just being, like, names on the back of cards? Obviously, Derrick Henry's going to weigh more than a bunch of them, but it's going to be, I feel like, another weight year. Um, I, You know, CMC 83 speed with agility. Obviously, like, some of these other things change, like, trucking is way different between CMC and Henry. And I think that's really cool, right? There should be major differences. Why are all the speed numbers stuck so close to each other? And I understand Madden the way it's coded right now. The Mutt team is forced to make do with what they have, so you can't really, like out code them too much like they can't be that separate from each other or else the game plays in balance and people only look for speed it's not like 16 where we had 96 speed dre archer because we went over 100 speed in 16 last time they they gave us true budget core silvers even um so i don't know i i hope one day they start to like realize maybe this game is better when the numbers are and i realize it's just numbers in the end it's just it is but it feels like it would help differentiate some of the players a little bit more maybe a little bit easier to determine what I'm kind of looking for, if I want like a highly ag uh, agile guy, a jack of all trades, the Kamara looks like he can catch a little bit. 73 catching though on Kamara, Eckler 72, uh, Mixon 62, but like, you know, will he drop a ball? I don't know. Uh, Najee 63, 82 speed. Um, so overall, like, these cards are not impressive and they're not meant to be impressive. These things are kind of pack fillers and it's too bad. I think the one that people are going to really go for, Derek Henry, obviously being a trucking fool and falling forward on a lot of uh, uh, runs. It's going to help out offenses immediately. So I hope they go more with like stretching out stats going forward. But the big thing, I think, the mystery that we're all kind of wondering about is the lack of the power-up symbol. We're like, oh, well, I don't think they made a mistake. Some people said, oh, they just made a mistake. They forgot about it because it's, you know, work in progress. It doesn't say work in progress on the screen. Um, you look back at previous years. Here's like a limited time order, pre-order by August 20th. They even showed power-ups here in the pre-order. 
Uh, we then have, you know, looking back, this is like even a couple more years ago, the tw uh, 2020 season, AK Madden 21. They got the power-ups in the corners of these things going over the core elites here too. Um, so they have shown it before, okay? And then we go to uh, Hope right here. You don't know. He's a, a, a mutt dude. Uh, no power-up stamps. Curious. But mutt dude, I mean, works at uh, EA curious so it's on purpose obviously they've done something with power-ups what they've done with power-ups like immediately when you look at it like oh did they just eliminate them outright which i think would be kind of cool uh power-ups were really more of a coin sink they really didn't do anything for the game in my opinion positively like the big counter argument to power-ups were always been oh the power -up passes but they were very stingy with power -up passes in madden 22 so it's it's kind of cool they're going away it's not really like that beneficial towards us the only thing that i think power-ups could have been cool for going forward was if they added a parallel system like you know baseball and be the show does where the more stats you with the card the more like boosts that you get to the card due to having those stats accumulated and that would have been great to track that through the year with the power-up but it does look like they're not going that way with it even though stacking tra uh, tracking stats i can wow speak backwards uh they're tracking stats but it doesn't seem to have any effect on the game right now. Maybe it will. That would be kind of neat. That would be a big, like, killer app reveal that they could do to us. That they're going to have some sort of, like, parallel system on these cards. Maybe that's why I don't want to do power-ups through the, the year. is So that way they don't keep us giving a, that permanent boost to them. You have to, like, keep grinding it for every new card coming out. So, power-ups. People talked about them being in the beta. I don't really remember that much. Maybe it's just I have a poor memory, I guess, if they were in the beta. Power-ups could have changed, like, um... Maybe power-ups are there, but only for, like, the low end. And uh, these cards don't go into it anymore. The power-ups could um, be coming out later on for, like, further high cards. I think I saw people talking about that. Power-ups could be... I don't know. What else could it be? Like, I saw some theories on it. I think uh, there was a tweet by CC on that. We can go look at that tweet here in a second. Uh, but overall, like, you know... Kind of, uh, it's strange because like so much of this game like golden tickets now don't have it right golden tickets don't have power ups or sorry i hit the wrong button um golden tickets don't have power up so who knows right who knows what's gonna go uh with that because we've been like kind of built that way for like three years ever since like mud 18 changed it over uh put your best power up theory here um yeah i saw see uh scomo said it this way i saw some other ones um, don't need power-ups anymore since physical chems are gone. Um, so yeah. They only need, the, they only need in their base cards. Without the power-ups, it's only in their base cards. So, you can only power-up without power-up. You can only power-up cards without a power-up. Hmm, interesting. So, a lot, a lot of options there with power-ups and what they could do going forward. Um, the other thing is like these running backs that came out here, I just want to let, let you guys know um don't worry about it because like running backs they're i but they're the most popular position behind quarterbacks in the game so there's a lot released so like if you don't get derrick henry right away just wait i'm sure headliners will have a couple whatever promo you know preseason team of the week team of the week's uh, everything early on there will be another promo they'll probably be like you know some saquon barkley like we had in the past few years like just powerful early game running back so don't spend a lot on running back right away just get something that's like decently fast and you'll be fine until like we start to get to, uh, a couple promos in us and then uh, running backs will start to be fleshed out try and work more on the rest of your team in my opinion get yourself a good quarterback or whatever they maybe they make like a, a running back grind card what about mutt master the, the thing is i'm kind of surprised they didn't um, say they're revealing what master what master got revealed i think on the day the game launched last year we like saw it when we logged in but they're not going to reveal it team captains maybe i don't know if we'll do a running back again for team captains or not but team bills could have some really nasty running backs too so a lot of things still to be revealed on that uh, remember to order madden through like the main menu for 10 percent off um uh, yeah i don't know I, I i really don't know so let me know what you guys think is going to happen with power-ups going forward and uh everything on the docket but that's it for the video the mystery come back tomorrow for safeties and cornerbacks at 3 30 p.m at their uh, uh twitter account otherwise you can join the discord and we'll probably talk about it in there tomorrow when it launches too that link is below but thanks for watching call to action i will see you tomorrow